<laughs> now, how many of you see this? Yeah. <laughs> You hear a lot of diet. You hear about a lot of diets out there. How many of you have ever been on a diet? No lie, no lie. You know, it's like we've been there, and it's okay. We're not here to judge. You know, we're here just to share. And here's a beautiful little thing about sharing, right? When you share, I get to hear it once. I mean, the person I share with gets to hear it once. But guess what? If I share with ten people, I get to hear it ten times. So I want you to really think about that. When you share, when you have something to share with people, to give to people, when you, when you share something about nutrition with people, you know, they're hearing it once, you're hearing it all these times that you're sharing with other people, so it is as much for you as it is for them. You're doing yourself a favor sharing with other people. And that's why I'm here, because the more I share with other people, the more it reinforces my belief system, my lifestyle, and, and it inspires me to continue to do that. What is the difference between health, fitness, and body transformation? Now, a lot of people, diets go right to weight loss. Diets are, are designed, by design, they're designed for you to lose weight. Am I right or am I right? Yes. Do they work? No. No. Well, I beg to differ there. They, 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 they do work. They, they, they're not lying to you. They do what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to get you to lose weight. But you have something else you have to understand. Losing weight. What do you lose when you lose weight? You lose muscle. You lose water. You lose fat. Right? Your body's made up of muscle, fat, and water. Lots of water. Your body is 78% water. So you lose some weight. 22% protein. So you lose some muscle, you lose some fat, you lose some water. They're getting you to do that. Unfortunately, what they don't tell you is that you're losing a whole lot of water, very little fat, and a whole lot of muscle. Now, is that what you really want to lose? No, no it's not. Why? Because once you go back to your regular way of eating, guess what? That all comes back with a vengeance, right? A vengeance. I mean, with a vengeance. And some of you know what I'm talking about. So, the difference between health, fitness, and body transformation. What is health? What is health to you? Sorry, I put you on the spot, but I like to do that. <laughs> Being physically fit. That could be a part of uh, health. Somebody else. Mentally fit. Mentally fit. Okay. Not hurting. Not hurting. I love that. That's what I was going to say. Not hurting. Okay, I'm going to say I have a lot of pain going on here. Emotionally healthy. Emotionally is good? Trying to do. Sorry, waking up and wanting to get out of bed. Ooh, that's a big one. What else? What is healthy? Trying to deal away with so many drugs. I'm sorry? Absence of illness. I love that. Absence of illness. The drugs you have to try to get off the drugs, so trying to get the body to function on its own. All that. Is health. So basically, health is getting the body's various systems to function optimally. That's health. Your body has lots of different systems. You've got your aerobic system that allows you to uh, you know, run fast and do all these things. You've got your muscular system that builds nice, strong muscle. You've got your cardiorespiratory system. You've got your hormonal system that balances all the hormones in your body. You've, you've got your body is just a Complex, complex work of genius. Really, complex work of genius. So health is about getting all those different systems functioning the way, functioning the way they should be, the way they were meant to, right? And have everything working in balance, in synergy, everything working together. That is health. Unfortunately, diets do not function, do not talk about health. They are not designed to get you healthy. They don't care about health. They, want, they care about giving people what they're looking for, the quick fix. Because we want to jump to weight loss. And notice, you don't see anything about weight loss here, do you? No. Why? Because weight loss is a consequence 
of lifestyle, a change in lifestyle. You find out more about that. What is fitness? We're talking about fitness. What is fitness? What is fitness to you? Exercising. Yeah, what does it mean to you, to, to your body? What is it when you're fit? Strength. Strength. You're strong? Stamina. You got stamina, yes. Energy. Energy, yeah. You look good, and let's not underestimate that, people. Come on. We all want to look good. We all want to feel good. My philosophy is I want to be the best that I can be in every way. And that's physically, that's mentally, that's spiritually, that's emotionally. All of those components, they're very important. So fitness is about getting the body to be able to tolerate more, to do more, to be stronger, to be fitter, right? To be able to, to have more energy. That's to be fit. Body transformation. What am I talking about body transformation? Body transformation is the opposite of weight loss. Body transformation is permanent. Amen. I love that. Amen. <laughs> weight loss is temporary. Let's say body transformation is permanent. Weight loss is temporary. There's a difference between body transformation. To transform your body, you have to transform your life, lifestyle. Mind, where you think, yes. Part of some one of my uh, talks, I talk about dealing with the limiting beliefs that we have in our, about our body, about our lives, and about ourselves. And changing those limiting be beliefs, developing other core beliefs that we function from. Because think about it. Our beliefs control the way we feel, which control what we do, right? Our beliefs control how we feel. How we feel will dictate the things we do, right? So we've got to work on those beliefs. That's a topic, that's a whole other topic in itself. Right? So when I work with my clients, we start with health because you've got to build a solid foundation. Without a solid foundation, it will not last, right? Without a solid foundation, we're aging faster than we have to. And that's what's going on today. The body's aging faster. Why? Because it's not getting what it needs. Without a solid foundation, it's like building a castle in the sand. Eventually, it will come tumbling down. So that's what we do. We start with health, then we work on getting fit, so the body can do more, the body can tolerate more, and it will last. Then we work on transforming the body. Transforming the body means transforming our lives. We have to change our lifestyle. We have to change how we think about health, how we think about the body. We have to change, we have to create changes. Incidentally, did you know that if you were to change one thing, one thing every week for one year, how many things have you changed? 52. If you were to change one thing a week, right? What did you say? Twelve. <laughs> you change one thing a week for one year. Each week you keep what you're doing, but you change something else the next week. Fifty-two changes in a year. Guess what? You have transformed your life. You have transformed your health. You have transformed your body. It's that simple. Really. It's really that simple. What happens for a lot of people is they tend to think, oh my God, this is so huge, this is monumental, this, I can't do this. Well, if you change one thing, let's say, let's say this week we decide to, to uh, change, have the healthiest breakfast possible. We'll do that the whole week. That's the only thing I'm focusing on this week. Next week, I choose lunch. So next week I'm having a healthy breakfast, healthy lunch. The week after that, I choose, let's say, a mid-afternoon, having a healthy mid-afternoon snack. That's three meals a day I'm, I'm really good at. The week after that, I choose dinner. Hey, that's four meals a day I'm really good at. Hey, that's a... Guess what? You maintain that for a year. You have transformed your life. How long does it take to create a new habit and let it pass? 21 about 21 days, 21 to 30 days. You maintain the habit for 21 to 30 days, it will become habitual, it will stick more. So, 
it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be hard. You know, we, we make it we make it hard because you know we're marketed to to think in, in those kinds of terms. Let's talk about creating health. 